This is season 12, episode 9. I would say the title, but I never know with YouTube sometimes. So just to be safe, we say season 12, episode 9. But without too much talking, let's get into this. Let's go. Before we get started today, Wendy Testaberger is asked to share something with the class. Wendy. Oh, what's up, Wendy? Thank you, Mr. Garrison. Fellow students, October is Awareness Month for one of the leading causes of death in women, a terrible disease that takes the lives of American women every day. I'm talking, every of course, day. about breast cancer. Oh, is the leading? I had no idea. <laughs> An estimated one in six women will deal with cancer in their lifetime, and breast cancer is the most common. <laughs> she said it again. <laughs> oh, he's it's laughing at the words. Because breast cancer isn't funny. Breast cancer is killing people. Mr. Garrison, do we really need all this potty talk in the classroom? Eric, for the love of Jesus. It's pretty safe, that you word. Issue, Eric, even though I didn't say it at the start, but still. Offensive. Me? You're the one talking about killer titties. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Wendy says boobs can kill people. Ah, gonna get you. Gonna get you, Wendy. <sighs> I don't want to get killed by boobs. Will somebody do something? <sighs> Every week he gets worse and nobody does anything. Wendy, you need to calm down. You're going to get your boobs all angry and they're going to start killing everyone. Dude. The only excuse I have for him is that he's a kid. But it's not an excuse to make fun Look of that, everyone. is it? There's some killer titties on the loose. Could have swore I heard him coming through the roof. Oh, and he's not stopping from Officer, just the class. You need to get an APB out on those titties. They're armed and dangerous. You'd better shut up or I'll make you shut up. Oh, oh. really? What are you going to do about it, Wendy? I'm going to kick your ass. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to fight him? You're going to kick my ass. That's right. I'm going to kick your ass. You want to throw down, dog? I'll throw down. You think you're tough? What's up? What's up? Carmen, you're you just talking, bro. I feel like Wendy's serious. After school. As soon as that bell rings, we do it outside. You got that? And you better be there. Oh, it's on. Bro. Oh, gonna someone going to put him in his place. Oh, my days. It's on, bro. Wendy and Eric are fighting after school. Hey, everybody. See, at that age, I think it's it's relatively even. I don't think boys are significantly stronger than boys at that age. Maybe slightly. So, Wendy has a great chance to beat him up. Especially because he's a bigger boy as well. Mobility is not the best. The whole school's finding out. Do they care? Did she just call us emos? Oh. So the whole school, everyone's finding out. I'm sure she's already trying to figure a way to get out of it. Against you, Eric. Check it out. She's totally staring you down. Is she? Oh, it is on, brother. Oh, she's it's on. Confident. You should probably go easy on her, dude. You don't want to put her in the hospital or anything. Oh, he's shook now, bro. Hey, Wendy, do your thing, girl. You know what I mean? If you got beat up by a girl, everyone would think you were a faggot. Yo! I mean, it's true, to be fair. Throw the F word, they'll just think you're weaker, innit? Uh, he deserves this, though, Cartman. I mean, guys, we know this. He deserves this. Wendy, could I talk to you for a second? Oh, now you've got the soft voice. Wendy, I want to apologize and tell you that... Speak up, big man! I'm sorry for what I said, okay? Look at him whispering. I don't want to fight you after school, alright? So, I'm sorry. No! If you're really sorry and you want to apologize to me, then do it in front of everyone! <laughs> apologize? That's not what I said, you dumb... <laughs> oh no. Yes, you did. You Making it worse. And said you apologize and you don't want to fight. These students are a little too smart to see. You're just making excuses not to fight me. I don't want an excuse. Is he serious? He's serious. You. <laughs> and you better, Wendy. That's funny. You're going to die, you lesbo. Damn. <sighs> Wendy, seriously though, I do want to apologize. I'm really sorry and I don't think we should fight. Get away from me. Mm-hmm. I actually hope she kicks his ass. Jeez. What up, goth kids? So, everyone's saying there's gonna be a fight between Eric Cartman and your girlfriend. And you're gonna just let that guy beat up on your woman? Doesn't that, like, go against what do you the mean? man code or something? How do you know she's not gonna whoop yeah. his ass? What am I supposed to do about it? Don't worry, Stan. I don't think the fight's even gonna happen. Carpet said that Wendy's already begging him to call it off. I hope not. I want to see Eric kick the crap out of her. Oh, Jesus. This is pretty realistic, the reactions of uh, the characters, wait, wait, psst, you know? What? Some people it's saying it's not right. Some just, saying wait, let wait. it happen. Rumors circulating, you know? Wendy, you're not going to believe this. I just found out my mom has breast cancer. Man, I sure got what was coming to me. Don't joke about jerk, that, bro. And now they're going to cut off my mom's boobs. 
You really think that's gonna work on me? Maybe Wendy ain't stupid. I have here twenty-seven dollars in cash. If you just call off the fight, then you I can't bribe your way out of this. I am going to wipe the playground with you right in front of everyone. I am going to shove your ass down your throat and make you eat your Ooh. underwear. Oh, she called. That's right. Okay, Wendy. I will eat my underwear. Right here, right now. Don't do that. Jesus Christ, do you have no sense of self-respect? All right. No. He's really scared. Wendy, and then you'll be satisfied. We can put this whole thing behind us. I want you to see just how humble I am. <laughs> Eric, bro. Oh my god! Is he not naked? So, are we cool? No! I ate my underwear! Oh my god! What do you want from me? You are so pathetic! When is it fair I ate my underwear? <laughs> oh! Yo, what's up, dog? Close the door, G. Bro, you got a fake being sick or something, you know what I mean? Like, to get sent home. Stan, Stan! She told me she doesn't want to fight. She's just stuck, Stan. Because she knows I'm going to kick her ass, but she feels like if she doesn't fight me, all the kids are going to call her chicken. Really? But she <sighs> He confidently lies as well, like... You have to do it's quite impressive, Stan. to be you honest. fucking man and forbid her from fighting, so she has a way... Oh. Dude. Oh, that's where I put those. Anyway, Stan, you've got to put a stop to this fight. Brother. She's stuck and she needs you. Dude, there's nothing I can do about it. Leave Stan alone, bro. Pussy, Stan. When I heard Wendy, oh, he's the pussy, yeah. Jeez, bro. Oh, it's almost home time, is it? Right right time to get your ass whooped, boy. Hey, she's... Oh, damn. There's no way out. She's gonna kick my ass in front of everyone. Almost in. Why don't you believe in yourself? Does he just have no faith in himself as a fighter? I can't see the fight, dude. I've got detention after school. That's actually quite smart. That's it. Bro, I'm sure they'll just wait for after detention. Whoa. Whoa. Bro, that should be way more than just detention, bro. <laughs> Did you just take a crap on my desk? What do you mean you can see it right there? What's up? What's up? You crapped on your desk, Doug. What's up with that? Oh my word. Welcome to detention, <coughs> okay? You're here until detention. your parents come oh, and pick said. you up. Use your time to study. Ah, sweet. They're gonna hey, wait, surely, right? On? Everyone's starting to say you got detention on purpose to get out of fighting Wendy. What? That's ridiculous. But some people think you crapped on teacher's desk to get out of the fight. <laughs> That's not why I did it. Then why'd you crap on Garrett's desk? Because I'm hardcore. You know, I'm, I'm anti-establishment. That's how I roll, dogs. Why would you, you just do that then, like then? That's what I said. I told everyone outside, Carmen ain't scared of fighting Wendy. He'd do it if he could. Damn straight. Yeah, these two are best friends. <laughs> you know? I'm just a bad dude. Okay, that's good. Because we move the fight to first thing in the morning tomorrow. Before school starts, everyone's gonna get there early. They move okay. the fight. That way it won't matter if you get detention. Eric, get your buns back over here, okay? Get your buns back. You see you in the morning, champ. Oh. Tomorrow oh, she's at the window. Die tomorrow morning. Bro, Eric, bro. Bro, you just got to have a little faith in yourself, man. Start shadow boxing or something in the mirror. Because, um... Yeah. It's not looking good right now. Has he snitched? Oh, as if. Did you tell this little as boy you were going if. to beat him up? You don't understand. He said horrible things. The, the thing is, I, I totally said I was sorry, but she still wants to beat me up. <laughs> and I know I'm just a nerdy little weakling to you, but I want to be your friend because I don't have that many friends at ski. Oh, my days. <laughs> It's Wendy, you tell this little boy you aren't going to hurt him. Mom, you don't... Now, young lady. It really won't happen again. You're very sweet. Thank you again. Oh, my days, on, Eric, nothing. dude. Okay, kids man. should really... Uh, man, kids? Man, Parents man. should do a better job of listening to their kids. Uh, Wendy wouldn't just fight for no reason. You guys should know she's never done this. So listen to the reason maybe she wants to do what she wants to do, you know? <laughs> maybe you might be like, yeah, I don't know what's you know, I'll kick, kick his ass. Where is she? How come Wendy's 
not showing up for the fight. Here she comes. Oh, she's gonna look like she's backed out now, isn't it? What's up, Wendy? I thought we were meeting early to fight. You know I can't fight you. Why not, you chicken? I can't fight you because you came crying to my house last night with your mom. Oh. Oh, that's a doozy, Wendy. You come up with that one on your own? <laughs> yeah, you come up with that one on your own? I ain't fronting, dog. Let's do this. Let's do it right now, yo. Come on, Wendy, kick his ass. I can't. Yeah, baby. Come on. God damn it. She chickened out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that's over with. Yeah, I guess you dodged a bullet, Galahad. He I dodged the bullet. I down that Wendy didn't have any b b balls. We have time for one more report before recess. Who'd like to go? Okay, Eric. Uh, I feel like he's gonna rub okay, salt into you. the wounds just because it's My Eric. This is something he's doing. Yeah, awareness. it's Eric. I do not believe enough is being done. And like the victims of breast cancer, like, bro, just let it go. Like get off my chest. You unbelievable bastard! No right. You beat me, but you won't stop. What did the breast cancer say to the Polish monkey? Okay, Eric, that's enough. To you the Polish ass. monkey. Why won't you just stop? Wendy, He's Wendy. Eric. Wendy Testaberger to the principal's office, please. Wendy Testaberger to the principal's office. Jeez, how's that for timing? <laughs> I think there's a point you have to just be like, screw my parents. I'm gonna kick his ass. Wendy, I've been you know? hearing rumors about a fight between you and Eric Cartman. Did you know I'm a breast cancer survivor? Oh. Ma'am? I was diagnosed seven years ago. Cancer is pure evil. Oh. It is a fat little lump that needs to be destroyed. I wonder if she's going to advocate for him beating Eric's cancer, ass. You have to fight it. That's literally what she's saying. Reason with cancer. Well, she's, playing, she's calling Cartman a cancer My pretty much. Indirectly. And you can't listen to what anybody else tells you. You have to be willing to give up everything. W principal. Cancer will take everything. <laughs> Do you understand? She gets it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. When you have cancer, you fight. I'm glad they've not made Eric indestructible. If she fights him, then I'm glad. She's gonna cause... fight! Wendy's gonna fight Cartman right now! What? He gets what's coming to him, you know? Dude, some of the 6th graders are on it. 5th graders? Oh, dude. Go deep, Craig. Oh, she ready! Is that actually gonna happen? Please let it happen. Please let them fight. Please let her whoop his ass. I'll tell my mama. Oh, shut up, you wanker. I don't care. <laughs> People want to see violence so bad. Oh, she tied the hair up. Oh, it's on. Damn, she's circling the fucking the radius. Oh. Going as expected. Oh, he's landing. Oh. Oh, Eric is actually landing. Oh. Oh. Dude, she's wailing on him. Good for you, Wendy, man. Oh. She just spin. Damn. It's like that slow motion shot in the movie. Look. Wait, let's go. A tooth came out. Dude, Eric got beat up bad. Wendy? I'm finished. That's how. That's one way to get respect, isn't it? I mean, who's gonna like? Somebody, somebody call the principal. Oh, she knows. Who's gonna try it on Wendy now, bro? I'm no longer the cool kid. Now you all think I'm a fag. I'm pretty sure they've always <laughs> thought that, bro. They just kind of tolerate you, Eric. We never thought you were cool. Oh, so. That's not true. We've always thought you suck. Yet, yeah, nothing's changed. Our opinion of you can't possibly go any lower. <laughs> you are just saying that to make me feel better. Eric, wait, mate. Wait a minute. Why would you guys be saying stuff to make me feel better? Unless... Unless you do think I'm cute. Mate, there's no what? point. Yeah, I've been so worried about what you guys Ladies and gents, this is delusion right here. 
you think I'm cool no matter what? Oh, oh, oh God, what a relief! <laughs> Yay! What? Bro, what? Only Eric Reedy can make an L like that turn into a W so quick. That is what we call living in a bubble. His friends are clearly telling him otherwise, but he's like, no, no, you guys are just trying to make me feel good. Delusion, my friends. He's absolutely just clouded his own mind with what he believes to be the case. Hey, I mean, it's commendable, you know, to have a mindset like that. That means you don't let anything bother you pretty much for the most part. So ggs i guess but i'm so happy for wendy man i feel like it's about time someone showed eric a serious serious lesson even if by the end of it he's fucking smiling as if nothing ever happened i it's satisfying to see him get his ass whooped like that by wendy as well i did a poll yesterday and i can see why most of the people that voted voted her as the highest or the most favored female character in fourth grade so makes a lot of sense makes a lot of sense but I'm glad she fucking whooped his ass. Thank gosh for that. But hey, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, consider subscribing. Uh, like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.